Hello, welcome to Simtecall. Today we are going to solve the day 20 of Agas Luxor Challenge. So today's problem name is random point in non-overlapping rectangles. So basically if you read the problem statement, it's saying that we will be given one two-dimensional array and that array will contain multiple rectangle coordinates, right? So using those coordinates, we can form our rectangle and we need to return points or coordinate in from uh, inside that rectangle only, right? So let's try to understand the problem in more details. So suppose this is our first example, right? Here we can see that our rectangle value is 1, 1, 5, 5. That means x1 value is 1, y1 value is 1, and x2 value is 5, y2 value is 5, right? So suppose this is my coordinate, right? So this is x-axis and this is y-axis, okay? And so this is my one rectangle, right? So using this coordinate, we can draw the rectangle, okay? So after drawing the rectangle, uh, uh, it can be multiple rectangle, it can be multiple overlapping rectangle, uh, non-overlapping rectangle, right? So it can be like this also, R1 and R2. Now we need to pick any point inside this rectangle and we need to, re we need to return that. So point is nothing but a coordinate, but the coordinate should be inside this, right? It can be here also, it can be here, but we need to return it. That should be inside this given coordinate, right? Okay. So this is the problem statement, okay? So suppose this is my rectangle right so we, we, we need to probably figure it out that how many points can be there inside this then we can pick one uh, pick one coordinate randomly okay so now let's try to understand the problem in more details so suppose we have two rectangle uh, for simplicity I, I have took this example so one rectangle coordinate is double one three three and another one is double four five five okay so if you so since suppose it's our x and y axis and if we draw this rectangle how, how it will look so one one three three that means and the, my my bottom left corner will be this one 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 and my top right corner will be three three right so it should be three somewhere between this line so let us quickly draw the rectangle so it will be like this okay so this will be our rectangle one and for rectangle two it's four four and five five right so it should be four then it will be like this probably okay so you can see that our rectangle one is much bigger than rectangle two, right? So in this case, suppose you can think that uh, seventy-five percent. So if I pick, I, if I call our pick function, and then the seventy-five percent of time it should return from this first, uh, from this bigger rectangle, not the uh, and for twenty-five rest of the twenty-five percent we can return it from second rectangle, right? Since its its area is basically less than the uh, first rectangle, so we need to distribute the picking up uh, points or pick, uh, probability of picking up points between two two or multiple rectangles according to its area length right or according to its area okay so how we can solve this so so basically if, if, you, if you check this that at first we need to calculate the actual area right so after that only we can pick any point from them uh, from the rectangle right so uh, but the thing is that in this case we can have multiple rectangle right so i know that this uh, this rectangle cannot be overlapped by but we can have multiple rectangle right so what we can do, probably we can take one uh, map or array, anything anything like that. So suppose I, I, I can take, let me. So suppose I can take one uh, map, in this map I can maintain, okay, that, uh, so probably I will going to calculate the area of this one, rectangle one, and I can find that whatever is the area, I can put that for the rectangle one or given input one, this is my 25 anything is my area right and again for the second rectangle I can know that its area is after that ready right so probably 40 so between so in this second rectangle we may have 15 15 position or 15 coordinate in the first we have 25 25 right so using this logic we can we can divide the, the chances of picking coordinate according to its uh, area right so whatever rectangle whichever rectangle has maximum area the probability is greater to pick uh, pick or pick all coordinate from that rectangle only right so let's try to and uh, design one or develop one algorithm for the same so at first i already told you we need to uh, keep stored this thing right so we can use either map or we can use uh, list whatever right or you can use array also right so we need to just store it out that for each and we need at first what we will do we will uh, we will go through our input array that's a two dimensional array right and we are going to calculate area for for each and every given rectangle and we are going to store that right so so you so later we can use that and we can pick number from there from there only right so basically so suppose if you calculate the area of this one right so what will be the formula so since it's x1 y1 like this right so it should be calculate sum will be like this right so rec2 is that my x2 value so x2 minus x1 plus 1 
and then again y2 minus y1 plus 1. So now let's try to understand why we are doing plus 1 here, right? Because, so suppose this is my uh, first rectangle, right? So if I draw a coordinate, then how many number of possible combination is there? So suppose if I divide it like this, right? Okay, so um, what will be the, so if you check that, how many possible combination can be there, right? So basically there can be 9 possible combination because it's not only area, we need to consider uh, this point also, right? This point, this is, I know this is the extreme rate point, but we should consider this point also, right? So basically it should be, so that for that reason only we are doing this uh, plus one, right? So basically this can be one point, this can be one point, this can be one point, right? So you can think that we ha will have nine possible point, right? And if you, if you check the possible combination of these two, right? Between one, one and three, three, uh, one, three and one, three, it, it should be nine, right? So we can have possible of possibility of nine points. We can pick any of the nine point, okay? So that we are doing plus one, okay? So if you if you calculate, it will be given the sum will be nine. So that means we uh, rectangle one can have total nine points, right? We can pick any of the nine points, right? Because we need, we are just considering that uh, border or left side or right side points also, okay? Okay. So now now similar in similar way we can calculate it for the second one also right second rectangle so let's calculate for second rectangle also so our sum will be initially 9 right after that we are going to add it whatever we, are, we will get the actual sum value again for uh, for this one for this one we can have four value four values right so basically 5 minus 4 and that 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 one right so 5 minus 4 and again 5 so okay, that means five minus four and five minus four, right? So then plus one, plus one. Then that will that can have uh, four, right? So we can have this point, this point, this point, and this point, right? So total four point. So in the second case, our sum will be thirteen. Okay. Now, so suppose this is our map, right? Map or list, whatever you can think of. So in the first, for the first, uh, uh, first given rectangle, our sum is nine, right? And for the second one, our sum will be thirteen, right? So team is total sum, right? So in this case, we are doing right sum plus. Okay. So now, so suppose I will generate one random number. The random number will be between uh, ma maximum uh, maximum value can be thirteen up to thirteen. And suppose now we can decide. So suppose my random number is become uh, probably ten. Okay. So ten. Now we can decide that uh, where should the ten fall, either in the first cell or the second cell, right? So we can use various logic or we can design our own algorithm to identify that. This particular 10, uh, 10 where it belongs. Is it rectangle 1 or rectangle 2? Okay. So using this, we can then we can uh, find the corresponding uh, point or coordinate for 10 value. Okay. So this is the, in this way we are going to solve it. So basically, at first we will take one array or map. Then we are going to calculate sum for each and every rectangle. Then we are we are going to generate one random number and then we, we are going to decide that 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 random number belongs to which rectangle either one or two okay and once we we, we can we can we can know that where it's belong then we can co find corresponding coordinate and we can return okay so this this will be the our algorithm okay so let's write code quickly for the same so as i already told you uh, we are going to take one array instead of map we are going to take array so in that array we are going to uh, maintain all the sums okay so it's it should be a one dimensional array and we are going to initialize it later because we don't know the exact size of input, right? And apart from that, we are going to take a random random function uh, rnd rand, and we can initialize it here only. So it should be new random. So it's an inbuilt inbuilt class of Java. We can use that, okay? And apart from this, we need one uh, one more address in which we are going to store our input because we need to store right whatever we are passing we need to store it okay we cannot pass that and apart from that i think i think we are good so let's write so let's write our constructor implementation so in the constructor we are going to at first initialize our sums uh, sums array so it should be size of the given array so it should be new int and the size will be react uh, rectangles dot length Okay, and now what else? We can assign it the address value also. Address should be rect, whatever is our input. And now we need to uh, calculate the actual sum, right? So let's do that. 
So to calculate the actual sum, we need to take one for loop and before that we need to take one temporary variable called sum and sum should be initially zero and it should be like this int i equals to zero. Then it should run i less than s dot length. Okay, what else? And we are going to, we need to increment our i counter right now. We need to calculate our sum, okay? So sum should be sum plus equals to, so since we are incrementing the sum value, it should be x2 minus x1 plus 1, okay? So let's do that. So what is our x2? So x2 should be, okay, so let's take one small array here, temporary array probably, rect. And inside that we are going to store the, so it's for better understanding only. We don't need it actually. Uh, so it should be s dot i. Okay, so basically now we are going to calculate the sum, right? So we are going to pick the x2 value. So x2 value is res rectangle and it should be the x2 means uh, it should be the in the second position minus x1. So x1 is nothing but zero and we need to do plus one, right? I already I already uh, explained you the logic for doing plus one, okay? And it should be multiplied by y2 minus y1 plus one, okay? So y2 will be in the rect three minus rect one, then again plus one, okay? So using this, we can calculate the sum and we need to uh, store our sum also, right? In our actual sums array, right? So it should be sums i and we are going to store sum here, okay? I think we are done. So using this for loop, we can easily calculate our sum, right? So I think that's enough for the constructor implementation. Now let's implement our actual method int peak, okay? So now I know that my sum is ready. So now I need to generate one random number, right? So let's generate the random number quickly. So it should be, let me name it as target only. And so we are going to call our rand function uh, or rand variable. So it should be rand dot next int. And uh, its limit should be sums sums dot length minus one okay so basically we so this is our this is our sums right this is our sums look like 9 and 13 so i am going to pick take the last sum right so that can be our upper limit we are doing that only okay so now once we once we done all with our net number generation we need to identify right identify the uh, actual rectangle right where this random number belongs so let's write code for the same so probably we can so if you check that array right so it's our sum array and you can see it's a so it's in sorted order right sum will be increased only okay so we can probably use a binary search of kind of thing to quickly find out this thing so we are going to implement that only so for the binary search, we are going to take two parameter. One is low, low will be low initially should be zero, and we are going to take another parameter called high, and high should be obviously sums dot length minus one. Okay. Now we are we need to run one while loop, and inside while loop we are going to uh, check the middle value, and if it's in the, in the left side, then we are going to decrement the high and if it's in right side we are going to increment our low right so similar binary side algorithm so let's implement that quickly so it should be low less than high and we are going to calculate the mid value mid value should be be low plus high minus low by two right okay and once we found our mid then we, we are going to compare it with our target value right so if if my sums mid less than target okay so if it's in the left then if it's if it is less than then then we should we should find in the left side position right only in the given array right so we are going to update our high as mid value right so whatever the mid value we are going to assign that to into our high value and else we need to find in the right side right so my low will become mid plus one okay and once we are done with that so in in our low variable we will contain the actual index of our rectangle right so 
probably we can define another function and and in that function we can pass this is my rectangle and you can then we can find the actual coordinate right so we are we are going to write another function uh, let me name it as pick from rect and we are going to pass the value of the, of the position of the rectangle so it should be arrays dot arrays and we are going to consider the low value only right okay so now let's quickly uh, write the pick from rect function quickly so it should be private and we are going to return array from here so it should be integer array and let me define it quickly and we are going to pass array only right so it should be rect array something like this okay so now what i need to do i know that uh, this is my position right so using this random number i can so suppose my random is 10 so i know this will belong to the second rectangle right so i will return the second rectangle value right 4 4 5 5 i am going to return this portion right so now we need to calculate the coordinate from that given uh, given rectangle right so how we can do that so we are going to quickly take four variables so one should be the left so left value should be our it should be x x 1 right so that means rect 0 and our right value should be x 2 right so x 2 means rect 2 okay what else and we need to take another two variable one for top and one for bottom right for top it should be rect 3 and for bottom it should be rect 1 right so let let's take those quickly it should be rect 1 okay so now so i know uh, so now we need to generate that coordinate using this four value right so we can directly return and we need to return integer so let's declare one integer array declare one integer array and inside that we are going to calculate or we are going to pick two random coordinate value okay so let's do that so how we can do that so basically we, we have four, we have this four value right so it should be like this uh, left plus right minus left it should be right minus left from one and we can take a random value also right so it should be rand dot next int and this is for one coordinate x coordinate similarly we need to do for right coordinate also or y coordinate also so it should be bottom plus rand dot next int and we can pick value from this value right so it should be top minus bottom then plus one okay i think that's pretty much so let's try to compile our code then we will try to analyze the time complexity also yeah i think it's compiling successfully let's submit our code and check whether it's accepted or not okay i think it's throwing some error let's fix that quickly okay i think we are doing it slightly wrong here so it should be opposite one it should be target should be here uh, target should be less than uh, some speed okay i think that was incorrect okay i think let's submit our answer and check whether it is accepted okay i think our answer is accepted now let's try to analyze the time complexity and space complexity also basically if you check that while calculating or preparing our sums that's time complexity is order of n since we are uh, iterating through each and every given rectangle or give in the in the two dimensional array so so that is order of n and to generate the random number and to find the uh, find the actual rectangle you from the sums variable so since we are using binary search kind of logic so it's it will be log n only but so it's so one is order of n another one is log n right so basically our time complexity is order of n here and in case of space yeah we are using we are using multiple arrays and the, all the sizes maximum at max n right so space complexity is also 
order of n so both time and space are order of n okay i think that's pretty much for this video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel thanks thanks for watching bye bye